In this video, I'll be showing you how to clean the print head on your HP Smart Tank 580 model. Now, all you'll need for this is to have your printer connected to a power source and make sure that there is a consistent power light here. And then you also need uh, a dry cloth, preferably lint free. I'm just going to use a couple tissues for this, but if you have something else, then that should work as well. Now, if you don't have this exact model, but another HP or HP Smart Tank of a different series, then please keep watching as this solution should help you as well. Uh, there is another video detailing how to do a deep clean of your print head, but I'm going to show you the manual way to just give them a once over and make them a bit cleaner. So what you're going to need to do is open up the front of your printer. And when you do so, uh, the print heads should slide from the left side to the right. But it's quite a common issue with uh, these models of printer that they don't. So I'm just going to show you what to do if it doesn't like it's doing now. So what you need to do is close this back up, turn off the printer like so, and make sure you wait until the power light has stopped flashing before you move to the next step, as you don't want to interrupt the shutdown process and end up uh, breaking anything or messing up the printer's internal wiring. So just make sure it's completely off like this, and then we're gonna turn it back on. And when we do so, we're gonna open up the front and stop the print head from sliding back to the stationary position so it's quite important to be gentle with this process uh, otherwise you may as i say before break something and there's a lot of plastic components in this printer so it's quite easy sometimes to be a bit forceful and uh, end up breaking something when you don't mean to so just make sure to be careful so we're going to turn it back on you can see the lights come up and then we're going to open up this and when we do so we're just going to wait for that print head to slide over to the right and when it will do so we'll just stop it in this position you can see it starts to move and we're just going to put our hand here to stop it from coming back now try not to push too much just stop it from sliding all the way it may take a couple attempts just to fully come to a stationary position like so and now we are ready to uh, manipulate the print heads take them out and just give them a little clean so it's quite important to line it up here with the um uh display like this and this way it's ready to be removed. So what you need to do is press down here on this blue tab, like so, and that will release it up. And then you can remove the print heads from the printer. The way to do this is just to gently press down on the roof until it clicks out, and then you can pull it out of the machine. And when you take it out, just have a look to make sure that they're in good quality. And you can see now that there's nothing wrong with this print head. Uh, it seems to be in good condition. In fact, these are brand new ones, so this is how it should look. And we're just gonna give it a little dab. So get your tissue and just dab it on the bottom there. As you can see, some ink comes off. Uh, this is not a problem. Uh, you don't want to rub, especially when you're using something like tissue, just not to um, catch it on anything and end up ripping it. So just dab it gently and then we can put that back in. Now, try not to force it in. As I mentioned before, a lot of plastic components, so you don't want to break anything. So there you are, that's nice and in there and we can take out the color cartridge and do the same process. So just before anything, have a look at it to make sure that it's in good condition. Now this seems to be nice and clean and there's nothing wrong with it. So we can go ahead and just give it a small dab like so, and then put this back into the machine. There you are. And now at this point, we wanna just close up the big tray at the front. And when you do so, the printer will recognize that it's been closed and you may hear a whirring sound. This is just the print head going from the left to the right. However, if it doesn't do that, and you notice an E3 error with a little flashing light, you're just gonna to wanna to do another reset of the printer, and this should move it back into position and correct that error code. So we'll just hold the power button for a second, let it turn off. Uh, once again, make sure not to do anything whilst it's flashing. We wanna only uh, touch the machine when it's either got a consistent light or no light at all. So now it's off, we can go ahead and turn it back on. There you are. And so that should have resolved the issue. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave us any feedback in the comment section below. That's always appreciated. We love hearing back from you uh, if you enjoy the videos. My name is Pat. This is Princes with Pat. Thank you very much for watching.